wire-haired pointing griffin versus Alaskan Malamute, a working dog face-off. When it comes to working dogs, there are many breeds to choose from. Two popular choices are the wire-haired pointing griffin and the Alaskan Malamute. Both breeds have unique characteristics that make them excellent working dogs. In this video, we will compare the wire-haired pointing griffin and the Alaskan Malamute in terms of their history, physical attributes, temperament, trainability, and exercise needs to determine which breed might be the better fit for your needs. History the wire-haired pointing griffin, also known as the Korthels griffin, was developed in the late 19th century by a Dutchman named Eduard Korthels. Korthels crossed several breeds, including the German griffin, to create a versatile hunting dog. The breed's wiry coat protects it from harsh weather conditions, and its keen sense of smell and instinctual pointing abilities make it a preferred choice for bird hunters. On the other hand, the Alaskan Malamute has a rich history as one of the oldest Arctic sled dogs. Originating from Alaska, this breed was developed by the Inuit people to pull heavy loads in extreme conditions. Their massive size, strength, and endurance make them well-suited for their traditional role as working dogs in the Arctic. Physical Attributes the wire-haired pointing griffin is a medium-sized breed, standing about 20 to 24 inches tall and weighing between 45 to 75 pounds. Its distinct feature is its rough, wiry coat, which needs regular grooming to maintain its texture. Their coat is usually brown and white or gray and brown. The griffin has a muscular build and a deep chest, giving it the stamina required for long hours in the field. In contrast, the Alaskan Malamute is a large breed, typically measuring 23 to 25 inches at the shoulder and weighing between 75 to 100 pounds. They have a thick double coat that comes in a variety of colors, including black, gray, sable, and white. Their sturdy build, strong bones, and well-insulated coat enable them to thrive in cold climates. Temperament both the wire-haired pointing griffin and the Alaskan Malamute possess unique temperamental traits. The griffin is known for its friendly, affectionate, and intelligent nature. They are generally good with children and other pets, making them a suitable choice for families. Griffins are eager to please their owners and form strong bonds with their families. In comparison, the Alaskan Malamute has a more independent and strong-willed personality. They are often described as friendly and playful, but can be stubborn at times. Due to their working background, Malamutes have a strong pack mentality and may exhibit dominant behavior if not properly trained and socialized. They require experienced owners who can establish leadership and provide consistent training. Trainability Both breeds are intelligent and trainable, but there are some differences in their trainability. The wire-haired pointing griffin is highly trainable and thrives in structured environments. They have a strong desire to please their owners, making them responsive to positive reinforcement training methods. They excel in various dog sports, including obedience, agility, and field trials. On the other hand, Alaskan Malamutes are known for their independent nature, which can make training more challenging. They have a stubborn streak and may require a firm and consistent approach. Early socialization and obedience training are crucial for a well-behaved Malamute. It is essential to engage in positive reinforcement techniques and make training sessions fun and stimulating. Exercise Needs Both breeds have high exercise requirements due to their working backgrounds. The wire-haired pointing griffin thrives on daily exercise and mental stimulation. They excel in activities such as running, fetching, and tracking. Regular exercise helps prevent boredom and destructive behaviors in this breed. Similarly, the Alaskan Malamute needs regular exercise to keep them physically and mentally fit. They excel in activities like sledding, weight pulling, and agility. Without sufficient exercise, Malamutes can become restless, leading to behavioral issues. They also enjoy interactive toys and puzzles that engage their problem-solving abilities. In the wire-haired pointing griffin versus Alaskan Malamute face-off, both breeds have their unique qualities and characteristics. The wire-haired pointing griffin is an excellent choice for hunters and families looking for an intelligent, versatile, and affectionate breed. 
They are highly trainable and thrive on the companionship of their owners. On the other hand, the Alaskan Malamute is a powerful, independent breed best suited for experienced owners who can provide firm leadership and consistent training. They excel in cold climates and are known for their strength and endurance. Ultimately, the choice between the wire-haired pointing griffin and the Alaskan Malamute will depend on your lifestyle, needs, and preferences. Both breeds require dedicated owners who can meet their exercise and training requirements. Whichever breed you choose, both the wire-haired pointing griffin and the Alaskan Malamute are beautiful and remarkable working dogs.